Okay, I'm back for a brand new video. This is weekly vlog seven. I can't believe there's been seven already. It's been so good. But this week, no doubt, we shall we'll be playing Hogwarts Legacy on the PS4. So this will be a very lonely week for me. So no disturbing Michelle for ages. I think she said that she's got two hours of gameplay done, and she's only four percent through the game. So God knows how long the actual gameplay is. But I'm getting out of breath. But before we get into this video, if you're brand new here on our channel and you love physical media and video games much as we do, then why not hit that like button, consider subscribing. But most importantly, don't forget to dingle that bell so you don't miss anything in the future. So what are we waiting for? Let's get into it. Okay, so at the moment, I am binge watching my new boxer that Michelle got me. Please, sir, the complete Friend Street collection where you got Please, sir, Friend Street Gang, and Bola. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't think I'm on the second episode at the moment and I don't think it's aged very well especially on DVD because if you remember on like I don't know if you could see it or not but it happens every so often and you know on like VHS tapes yeah it just happened there you know when it like flickers it does that for some reason so I don't think it's aged very well I am so, I am really happy to own it though because I've been after it for such a long time I'm a little bit annoyed though because the as you could see at the top the box is a little bit broken and I absolutely hate these type of boxes I hate them because they break and snap so easily but from Zavi we did get uh, £10 off so not too bad I suppose so I can I can live with that so yeah so happy to uh, be watching this and owning this I've been after it for so long and Michelle's been Michelle is at the moment michelle's not here at the moment because she's gone to the bargain shop so by us we've got this bargain shop where they sell things super cheap sweets you name it they've got it all they sell it super cheap so she's gone there to get some sweeties and what have you for the cinema because tomorrow it is valentine's day and we're going to watch titanic much to uh, michelle's excitement <laughs> only joking she hates titanic but yeah i am so happy to be Watching Titanic on the big screen, never watched it on the big screen, so I'm looking forward to that. So, yeah, continuing on with uh, Please Sir. So, no, 
I can't get my words out. No idea how long it's going to take me to binge watch this, but if I want to, then I can binge watch stuff so quick. And it's just flickered again, I've just seen that. So it's Valentine's Day, and what are we going to watch, Michelle? Titanic. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear that. Titanic. Nothing like the support of your loving wife, eh? Yes, I'm looking forward to it so much. But well, okay, it's Titanic in real 3D. I wanted to see um, uh, Avatar, but unfortunately we've had to wait so long because someone took ages to watch the film, I couldn't watch it. I didn't take ages. You took... I, I watched it. It was okay. You admitted you liked it. Yeah, I did like it, actually. But yeah, we're going to watch Titanic in 3D. I wonder if anyone's going to be going in the cinema. Yeah, so if you go to like City World, you have to pay a real 3D, £1.50 for the glasses each. Mm -hmm. Which I forgot to order at the time because last time we ordered glasses from City World um, and we got there, they said, oh, you have to pay again. So we're paying a day. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to uh, watching Titanic 3D on the big screen and it's been remastered to 4K as well. And we have loads and loads of munchies behind us because we all know how long yeah. Titanic is. Just an is. update for when we go on holiday in May, just to give you a bit of an update for the upcoming vlogs in May. It's a long way away, I know. Um, we are going on holiday for an extra two days, so you're going to be seeing vlogs at Lincoln CX and Charity Shops, Boston CX Charity Shops, the Parrot Park, yeah, Lisa doesn't like birds, but we'll go into this power park. Not that in cages, mostly. Yeah. And we'll do skate there, CX, but we're going to do daily vlogs. Yeah, and we're going to do a bit of a travel vlog. Yeah. But the, the daily vlogs aren't going to include the child trips. It's going to include what we do day to day. Mm -hmm. Like food reviews, etc. Showing you the room. So the caravan for the first two days, then we're going to Butlins for the other two days. As it's Lisa's birthday, the day after Lisa's birthday, we're going to Holly because I couldn't get a place for her birthday. So As we, for some reason, we always seem to book a holiday and a bank holiday. Yeah, we did that last year. Yeah, so if you're new to the channel, just so you know, so we're going to be doing daily vlogs. So it'll be six days vlogs. Yeah, six day vlog. Plus, there's going to be additional vlogs. So there's going to be like a Lincoln CEX vlog. A charity shop. You're going to do Skegness separate as a charity shop vlog. Yeah, so there's going to be loads of vlogs coming out in May. Super excited stuff. There's going to be a Parrot Sanctuary vlog. And you're going to put still put little snippets inside the daily vlogs, but we're going to do separate whole vlogs so you can see the whole shebang in there. Um, you do Lincoln and Boston. I don't know whether you're going to do Grimsby, are you? You're unsure. No. At the moment, because it's like 45 miles there to one place, 44 miles to the other place. I didn't even realise that Greensby was like sort of local to the area. Like, so it's like 45 that. miles there, 45 <coughs> miles back. It's an hour or so in the car. It's good. We were going to do the four days, but we wouldn't be able to fit it all in four days. We may, if it's a nice day and we've got nothing else to do, we may do the Seal Sanctuary. No, but let me ask, comment below if you'd like to see a seal sanctuary. It's like, it would only be like a short day. Yeah, it's actually quite a, you have to say the, the seals are cute in there and the meerkats. Yeah, I don't mind going there, but the problem I have is it's the same. No, I like Every to, time you go, it's I, the same. I like thing. to see Lisa's twin, you know, the alpaca that like eats all the food, like grabs it and stacks it back. Isn't there like some butterfly thing in there yeah, as well yeah. that I refused to go in last time? Yeah, but in there it's it every time we seem to go it's always cold on the seafront but this time it might be hot we missed it last time because we was doing something else we would charge shop hunting instead and we was on public transport but it's only 10 pounds a bolt 12 pounds for both of us yeah and we're not on public transport anymore. i'm not doing the aquarium because i didn't like it. i found that boring it's like sea of sea life sanctuary not sea life sanctuary sea, uh, sea life center um, I don't think there's anything else. Uh, we are maybe going to Alton Towers in June for my birthday. So if you want to vlog, if we do go to any theme parks, comment below. Would you like to see vlogs when we go to theme parks? We won't go to on point views, but we can do vlogs. And then in September we're going to mine it. So we've got loads of good stuff for coming. the wedding anniversary in September. Yeah, we've got loads of good stuff coming up on the channel. Super excited stuff for the channel. I know it's really rambling, but do you want to see theme parks? Do you want us to go to different theme parks as we do have Drayton Manor? It's not the best theme park, but we do have Drayton Manor by us. Um, you may see other people in the vlogs with us if we go to theme parks. My brother's been trying to come to the theme park, but he, we go the weekday because it's not so busy and we don't go six for twelve day. Yeah. So that's it, a little bit of an update for the channel. So 
And room tour coming sometime soon. It will definitely be this year, I promise. And also, after we go to uh, watch Titanic, we're going to be spending a couple of hours in the arcade. I might go before because I want to go get a drink. First well, thing. before then, which okay. will be fun. Especially when Michelle's on the claw machine. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like the big teddies, and she can never win one. But she's good at the the um the little ones. Yeah, we haven't really got much stuff coming this week. Uh, we're doing a hair. Sorry, we're doing a hair. We're dyeing a hair. So we might put a few clips of having a hair shaved and dyeing the state of us. So we've got like some shady colour. <laughs> He's got some new straighteners coming. Would you want to review straighteners tomorrow? See if they're any good. Yeah, because the way we see it, right? Why would you pay eighty pound for a hairdresser when you can do like half of that, and even more than half? You actually, yourself. Up. My hair needs. Um, we went to the yeah. hairdresser for the first time, so we know like what the how the style is and all that. But we do ourselves now. We are on a live stream. Um, yeah, but that live stream would have already happened. Yeah, but it would already happen. But what we'll do is, if you watch this in the future, if you want any other live streams, or we do a live stream of our gameplay, because I like got Harry Potter, you know, Hogwarts, do you want us to po po well, we'll post it on our com No, no, do you want to? We'll be posting on our community tab on um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook group, whenever we're on a live. Is that what you're going to do? Because Lisa's the, the... She's only on a live, I just stay behind the scenes. Yeah, so we're going to comment below. I'm going to make, do some Hogwarts streaming. Lisa's got the wrestling game on pre-order. So, Lisa, are you going to stream sometimes this week? What, possibly? You've, yeah. you've already promised the peeps. What, say so? No, not say so, because she promised to do some streaming. So, I'm going to get Lisa to do some streaming, even have sleeping dogs or wrestling when she's playing you. Yeah. It's very hard to get me onto a live stream. I've only ever been on a few. Yeah, but when you're on your own on a console, you don't they don't see your face, they just see you speaking. So Lisa tomorrow and we will see. If she doesn't keep to this, then she's gonna have a punishment or something. We'll we'll let people choose below. So if you don't see on tomorrow's clip that she hasn't live streamed. Yes, you heard it. You promised them last like last week's video that you'd live stream. I'm gonna get Lisa to pick a game Lisa you'd like to live stream. What are you playing this week, tomorrow? Um you got wrestling to complete, ain't you? Yeah. Probably wrestling. Or sleeping dogs, but Lisa's got an anger issue when she plays um, gangster games. We all do, don't we? Yeah, you could play uh, Mafia that... again. You've only completed that once. Oh, yeah. That's what makes us proper gamers, yeah. isn't it? You're not a proper gamer until you rage at the game. She might start GTA and get to the boat mission and then have an attempt, oh. 12 attempts, and then I have to do the attempt. So I've got an itch. I mean, comment down below, right, if you play GTA 5 and then when you play as Franklin, is it or is it not hard, that mission where you've got to jump at the top of the building with the parachute and then you've got to land on top not of the... Not the parachute, on the way you have to dive onto the boat when they're getting shot at. Oh, that one, that one's pissy. No, it? it took you 12 attempts and I had to teach her how to do it. Yeah, but I'm talking about the one where you've got to dive off the building with a parachute and you've got to land on top of that pissing truck. That is a piss take, isn't it? Yeah. So tomorrow, you heard it from Lisa, she will be live streaming okay i will not if lisa live streams tomorrow i will live stream the ne later on harry potter because you can only live stream one at a time oh we've already seen your rage at harry potter yeah i don't know about this i haven't seen the clip yeah she doesn't know when i record i'm like a ninja so that's enough rambling at the moment so we're gonna be what time is it well the film is starting at half three and i think it's like one o'clock so we're gonna be going to the arcade for a little bit we've been running any teddies don't know i need to keep my mind off to I hate that movie. I don't like that movie. It's just, just I don't know. I don't. I'm sorry to anyone who likes it, but I don't know. It drags it drags too much dragging on on the film. It's good. It's really. I don't. She just sits on the plank of wood and then just leaves him to drown. Like you could have moved over a few inches. You know I mean, she could have hung on for a little bit. Yeah, she's a little bit of a hypocrite. I never let go, Jack. But it, she wouldn't have said that if she let him on that fucking uh, plank of wood. Excuse my French. I know uh, technically if it was real life they wouldn't have survived, but it's based on sort of a, a true story, but that's not the point. And another thing is, right, because it's Valentine's Day, we gave each other our Valentine's Day cards. <laughs> and we bought the exact same card. We did that last year. Lisa put a picture um, or a video later on when you get home. Yeah, I'll show you the card. It's so funny. But yeah, let's get in the arcade. Let's, what did you have for Valentine's Day? Did you tell them? Here's no. the voice. And Scream Two. No, God. this woman. She had, <laughs> she had. Please, sir, the complete box. Oh now. yeah. She would have seen each other early. 
Yeah, they've already seen that. I've already started watching it. Even though it flickers like a bloody uh, VHS. Not the new ones. No, not the new ones. You know, not the black and white episodes. Yeah, that's enough rambling. Okay, so let's get in the arcade and let's win some shit. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the famous. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the famous. If you want to play tough and want to hate this, I'll always show up. So instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented it Being negative when you should be getting after it I got facts over facts over tracks This and that spitting slow, spitting fast I could roast, I could gas, think I'm okay at last But I don't know if that can erase all the past And the pettiness, a reflection of the emptiness Hilarious, you think you're worth my time, you're delirious Mysterious, because you hide behind a fake exterior Inferior, you know I'll always be a bit superior Get off of me, this ain't no humble brag I want you to hear words, you can say them back I want you to feel free from the chains at last And to believe in what you got, it was built to last, yeah Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up Statement. I'm gonna learn the consequence of being incompetent Mental health is confidence, dreams and some honestness I'm not here to save the day, that's for you to take away I could play a million mind games, but instead I say Something not illogical, something that is topical Rub it on and watch it go, make yourself unstoppable Dreams are irresponsible, but they're always possible If you just believe, you could be so remarkable Thoughts in my head, a collage and they spread I'll be great one day, going off of my meds No, I'm not giving up, no, I'm not giving in I will make it to the top, taking off in the wind, I gotta make it I'm saving every day to taste it I'm patient, but my mind, it can hardly take it I'm chasing a dream that I've had for several ages of bacon Modern kingdom for the taking Now that I've been put through hell I never got anyone's help I had to do it all myself I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up
human being Cover them with tattoos so you can't see Knew it from the start, you had problems with me And the things I could be, I just wish I had seen I feel this So we just got back from the cinema. There's the matching cards that we were telling you about. And when we was in the uh, cinema, we do now have some noisy bastards opposite us talking on the phone. How many times did they get up? At least six, seven times. Yeah, and then there was holding full, holding full blown conversations. The people behind us, oh sorry, no, it's recording me. The people behind us was moaning about the people across um, from us. There was like four or five teenagers, weren't they? Yeah. Like, if you're gonna sit on your phone in the middle of a phone, just fucking do it outside. <laughs> And I did something rather funny in the cinema because you know when you're watching a movie, you're like proper engrossed in the movie and you completely forget where you are. Well, you know the scene where um, uh, Rose is lying on the plank of wood and she was like, Jack, oh, Jack, I'll never let go. You know when he dies? And then I was like, but you just let go. And I, I completely forgot I was at the cinema. She said that loud. The person behind me started laughing and the person, um, ne who was the person... <laughs> Completely forgot I was at the cinema. And unfortunately, my straighteners are bust. They still work, sort of. Yeah, they still work. Because basically what happens, when you plug this in and you straighten your hair, like five minutes later, it will just cut out and it will turn off. And then to get it back on, you've got to plug it out, plug it back in. So I've got That's to... your own fault. Let me show them why. You didn't oh, tell no. this part, did you? No. Look at, hang on. Look at the wire. Because he's wrapped it round. How it like this? Because these are going in the bin anyway. Oh. So, this is how you did it. Because like, they're going in the bin. So. Yeah, but in my defence, right, I did that only because I thought we ran out of elastic bands. Because we use elastic bands but for the But common wire. sense tells you if you run out of elastic bands, just don't do it. Just wrap, do the hook like this, straight, and just put it in the cupboard and it like that. Comment below, does she need brains to do that? I got, no, I, got, the... I got no common sense. The worst thing is, she had a, she had a, a, a wrap that you put this in, like a, a hold all thing. And she's got makeup bags, so she could have easily put it in there, but you didn't, did you? How's that going to fit in a makeup bag? You've got that big long one in there. Oh, I don't know. And but... you've done the same with a hairdryer. We're going to have to replace the hairdryer soon because you've knackered the work on that as well. I've had that hairdryer for at least probably 10 years. A hairdryer for 10 years. We've started to so finally sort the teddies out if you want to give it a show. Okay. So, oh. Crash is a bit drunk. Is that Ernie? Whatever, yeah. Okay. Bert or Ernie, I can never get them memorised. Uh, Kermit is kissing the anime. Got another Crash. Uh, Knuckles. They're going to be turned around because I'm running out of space. And Hong Kong Fui. And the best ones, Tom and Jerry. And Forky down there, and I don't know what Edward, that character is. Edward's up there at the moment. Yeah. He's hanging on for dear life like he's in a tree. I do want to get the box set. Oh, and I'm going to be buying... Well, I'm going to be looking at buying the... Oh, I've just tripped. Yeah, she tripped over the dog steps. The 4K toilet, which you don't get in the UK, but I want to attend this 10th anniversary. I know people are like, oh, you don't toilet, that's rubbish, but I like it. And I'm yeah. disappearing so I'm going to the show. You only found out the other day, didn't you, that you could get it on 4K. Yeah, because we don't get it in a release. Yeah. And we're going to be sorting these out soon, as you know, these are what we would at the arcades. And it hides the wire of the uh, vlogging light up there. Oh, and we got, hold on, four guys' teddies. I forgot about them. 4K is on display. It needs dusting. The cat broke our record player, so I need to fix that. The cat's done the lid. Yeah. Oh, also, Lisa's picked her game. Oh, as I was saying, also, you'll see the pick the game. Lisa's picked the game for streaming tomorrow for herself. I'm going shopping, so Lisa's going to be streaming when I'm out in the morning about 11 ish, isn't it? Yeah, probably. I mean, 11 12. It depends if she's so. Like, if Catty flies. Um, and I'm supposed to be. Hold on. Doing an unboxing. But to be quite honest, you forgot. Well, I didn't. Well, yeah, I forgot, and I just can't bother. <laughs> <laughs> so, what game are you streaming? Have you, you picked a game? You said you picked a game earlier to me. Oh, hold on, my arm's aching. Oh, I'll hold it because you, you shorty. Oh, shut up. All right, what's your game? Uh, either wrestling, not football, because I find football streams boring. Uh, either wrestling, sleeping dogs, oh. or GTA. Okay, I'm gonna flip this round and show. 
the PS5 games. So these are the PS5 games that we own. If there's any that you really want us to stream, let us know down below. Or mess it if you know us on Facebook. Just comment on one of our posts or on Instagram or whatever. These are our doubles, ain't they? Other than Hogwarts Legacy. Yeah. So I'll scan across. You could stream your Pac-Man, you know. Yeah, I could do. Um, I don't know how to I stream Twitch. Oh, you got PS4 guys, so that's just a quick look. I won't stream from Xbox, it's, it's not set up. But it is, but I haven't got, got leave. And these are all our PS4 guys, you want to pause. If there's anything you want to see us to stream. Yes, we do have doubles. Yeah, you're gonna def you're gonna definitely stream wrestling. Yeah. Can't wait for the new game to come out, guys. If she does stream, I'll do a little screen recording of, of her stream and put it in somewhere to show you her streaming. Yeah. And we know it's the 14th February and you're probably thinking, wait, 14th February was like two weeks ago? But we stream, we stream. We record the weekly vlogs two weeks in advance. No, but they go live with a bit back behind it. I messed the dates up, didn't I? Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, so when we edit them, we don't always put them on, so you're no roughly any, um, as I say. Yeah, Lisa edits and we don't always upload them because it takes ages to convert in 4K or 2K, whatever. And yes, my head. We're doing her hair tomorrow. Yeah, Michelle's going grey. Cheeky. Yeah, did you show them you know to Living Dead on the vlog? We'll show you anyway because I don't think Lisa showed you. But I can't remember, <laughs> I so. Did. I'll show you. Just in case. Okay. Night of the Living Dead on. Criteria. If anyone's an American viewer, unfortunately, we do not have the 4K release. We're not so lucky. Yep. Look forward to watching And just to give you an update, these are all the premiums. I'm starting to go for the premiums, ain't you? Yeah. So if you actually want to say something for. Just thank you so much for watching these weekly vlogs. They're a little bit random. They drag on a little bit, but that's just us. Yeah. Um, if you want to see more game streams from us, let us know down below. Because would you prefer do you to prefer streaming games, don't you, than, than going on full on live streams? It's been weird with the claws. Yeah. Do I hand? You're making the picture go blurry. Do you want a hand? No, thanks. <laughs> you need that to reach top shelves. You want to take this outside? Yeah. Comment down below if you want to see more live stream or gameplays. Do you prefer to see them in the afternoon? Do you prefer to see them in the evening? Because some people watch it in the afternoon. Is there any specific games you want us to see streaming? Is there any games specifically that you... Don't ask Lisa to stream Harry Potter because she won't do that. She's not a fan of Harry Potter. I will. I am taking Michelle to the Harry Potter tour though. Next year now. Because yeah. I changed my mind. Yeah, nothing else. Oh, well, wait. If... Oh, you can tell them about the cinema. What? Oh, I'll tell Okay. Okay. So, so just so you know... We're... We're gonna we want the books and I'll just hold it to you so you can so, We're gonna go and see some films with Mum and Dad, don't we? And for some reason City World and you see um the disabled seats at the back are all booked out, ain't they? Not the wheelchair spot, but the the, the, the companion spots, aren't it? Mm -hmm. And what's the problem? Every showing, isn't it, these? Yeah. The booked out. And we complain because not everyone wants to sit right at the front. And it's like the tiny screens, isn't it, at the cinema. Yeah. So we're trying to... Lisa might put... Will you put the print screen there while I'm on about? Yeah. So we're putting like a print screen where the arrows, the seats are booked out. We don't want to sit right at the front. Cause how are you sitting, Lisa, when you're at the front, do you? Oh, yeah. That's Literally, well. it's like... So, for example, where these steps are, the screen is probably from here to the door. That's how close it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's about that big. Yeah. yeah so, any of you else? We'll see you on the next clip. So there they are, my new straighteners that have just come. Remington Shine Therapy Straighteners infused with Moroccan Argan um, Oil. I'm hoping that these are going to be really good. I normally have my straighteners up to 200, so it's good that they go up to uh, 230. And you get a nice bag as well. So when it comes to straighteners, I for some reason, I only go for Remington or Babyliss because for me, they are the best two brands. So can't wait to test out these bad boys and hopefully they don't cut out on me like my old ones did. Yes. These are all the games that we saw on their Facebook. There's a few group. scratches, but I think it'll work for us. Okay, let me take a stack. FIFA? No. Check the voucher on these. That's the one. If it's in there, it's in good condition. You get a ten pound voucher. Let's I check. The... What's one eight seven wide or door? Don't know. Hold on. 
don't see how much these are as well. Excuse me. One out of seven more the door. I know these are pound eight because I asked. Mint condition. Got that one. I think we've got that. I want the leaf for speeds. Because some of them are worth some good voucher. Everyone keeps up. Hey, we just take these. <laughs> <laughs> That's pizza. I might check that to go for me. I can't do it. I'll check the next sure. one before I check for it. That should work. Definitely want that one. That's a definite. That's a definite. That one is definitely because the 30 up game. It's a bit scratched, but it'll work for us. Mm -hmm. And then I'll check my list with the check discs. Me? Oh my god. There might be more games. I know this uh, splash down over there. Okay, so as you've seen many times, we've been to the tip. So we just went to the tip. I apologise if I look slanted. After 250 and, yards, <laughs> keep right. Yeah, as Lisa sat down, let me just turn it off. Yeah, I apologise if I look a bit uh, wonky. You missed your turn, Lisa. Oh, don't mind. Yeah, you know where to go. Good voice. <laughs> we went to the tip shop. Um, I seen it on their Facebook. It's called Community Reuse. Um, it's the one in Toysley by us. They're always getting stuff donated to them, so um, we got some good stuff. Um, some of these we're going to trade in for vouchers, some we're not. So I'll show you what we picked up. Uh, Lisa will put the prices somewhere here, there, anywhere. Yeah, Lisa's driving. So I picked up a Wii controller. This is the one that goes into the actual Wii remote. Uh, this, uh, all this we paid ten pounds or so, a pound each, which I was quite surprised at. So I'm happy about this. Um, I did need one of these. Picked up a PS2 controller. Yes, it is a bit jiggly wiggly inside, but this is for our collection. We, if it wasn't shaking inside, I would have traded this in to see you. This is an official PS2 um, Sony controller, and they've done a thing like Lisa did with her straighteners. <laughs> Okay, we picked up some really good stuff. Uh, there's a couple of things for our collection. There's a couple now. I'll keep the last good one to last. So we picked up Mafia on the PS2. This is complete with manual. This is in mint condition. Lisa is really, really likes this. Um, she's got Mafia Trilogy on the PS4. Uh, she's been after this a while. We might put some gameplay on the screen, we might not as I'm talking. So this game is a one player game. I think this is, they, I'm sure, did they remaster this on the PS4 these? Yeah. Yeah, so they remastered this on the PS4. We picked up a PS3 game, this is Formula 1 23, 2013 Classic Edition. With this, um, on the CX website, they've got the complete edition with the same cover, but it doesn't say Classic. Um, they give you a 10 quid voucher, but we were not able to keep this because when I tried to scan this in, no voucher price came up. But when I checked on eBay and I scanned the barcode in and I put the print screen on here, um, it sells between 10 and 15. So if CX doesn't take it, are you going to list on eBay these? Yeah. We're going to list this on eBay. It is completely manual, but I can swap the box if we list it on eBay. 
I just dump it in the football. We picked up for uh, this is to keep. This is 187 Void or Die. This is a one to two player game, as you can see there. I apologize about the shaking. I've got the the, the phone on a stand. But this is complete with manual. This is a game that we have been after. I could swore we own this in the collection, but no. And we did pick up two copies of Need for Speed Underground 2. You do get a four pound voucher for this. Um, I can't remember if we got this. If we have, if we've already got these, because we only paid a pound each, we will trade one in one day and then trade another one another day. Because it's not gonna take ten percent off you. These are both mint and complete with manual. These are two player games. We do like them with Need for Speed games. We picked up another Need for Speed. So that's Need for Speed Carbon. You would have seen on the video uh, on the, the clip before that. They had quite a few other games, but we already owned them, or they were scratched, or there wasn't worth a voucher, so um, we picked up this. This is a two-player game again. Uh, it's complete with manual. They're all in really good condition, these ones. Um, Lisa likes these for speed games. We picked up one I know I definitely own. This is a Rockstar game, so this is Red Dead Revolver, as you can see. We gave it to them. Um, yeah, I'll say, whoever gave it to them, already bought it for the CX. This is complete with manual again. And last but not least, which I'm really happy about, but the disc is scratched, but we're gonna pay for it to get the disc clean. This is Def Jam Fight for New York. This is the one that I seen when they posted it on um, their Facebook page and I asked them how much, and it was a pound, which was like, Lisa, we need to go there as soon as they open. Um, so we got there as soon as, we, as it opened, because if not, we'll probably find a reseller and buy it. This is the one we're going to keep. We're going to pay this, get this cleaned. Not a CX, because they're this clean as a shit. We're going to go to the local game store, and this is a two player fighting game. I have been after this for a while. Um, so that is everything we picked up. Um, when Lisa stopped driving, we're going to do a little bit of a recording. Um, yes, we've got any recordings to do. Yeah, we've got something to tell you about City World. Um, we might put it at the beginning of the video, we might put it at the end. So just keep an eye out if you obviously if you've already heard it before you know we've put it at the beginning. Not a bad whinging to do about it. Got <laughs> <laughs> So a little bit of a rant. Um just to let you know. We're gonna put her in screen of proof of um, what I'm gonna be ranting about. So if you go to the cinema, I know I know this doesn't use a wheelchair, but my mum used a wheelchair, her wheelchair's in the boot. I'm but we book some tickets to see Ant Man, knock at the cabin. The cabin or knock at something, whatever it's called. And another film. And we found out that um with City World and you see one second. With City World and you see when you have the tickets, you obviously got the screen and then you got the back. They've got a separate part for people in a wheelchair. Um, so it's like a little box, isn't it? And you can have like a wheelchair, two companions with them. Um, and there's a lift to go upstairs. So I booked the ticket, yeah, for these films. And then I realised that there was a spare seat next to them, wasn't there? So I messaged them and said, and oh, the, uh, the story is, I'll tell you, uh, we went to book Magic Mike and there was a screen... No, we went to rebook knock at the cabin um, because we had to change the time. So we cancelled the tickets. Um, this is where it's leading to. It's a lung ramble. And I noticed that this, every day for every single show, it was in the same screen. I'll put the print screen over Lisa's face now. Um, so the same screen, uh, the seats at the back where the, the box is, because it's, they're not, the wheelchair spots are separate to us. You'll see on the picture what I mean. Um, was booked out. So the wheelchair spot was free, but the companion seats was booked. And there's four seats right at the front of the screen booked out as well. So I contacted them on, on Twitter and said, could you tell me why I've been trying to book a disabled seat for my mum because we can sit separate at least with your mum and dad. Uh, why they're all booked out? Because my mum doesn't want me sitting at the screen. Do the expression, Lisa, how you do it. How, looking up like that, directly at the first row of seats because the screen's a small screen. And they said, well, um, let me contact them. We waited back and then they got back and said, um, the, the lift is out of order. But if the person in the wheelchair can get up the stairs, they can. What is the, the whole point of using a wheelchair is so the person can sit in the wheelchair. What did they expect mom to do? It's not a magic carpet. You can't float the bloody stairs. Don't you think they should really? 
say it. <laughs> so I, I, uh, so after that, I checked the Ant Man tickets. They still left the Ant Man tickets in the same spot, in the same screen, because we booked them like two weeks ago. So I contacted them I, and uh, and and said, so you couldn't bother to message me or tell me that the the lift's not working. I have to contact you with these tickets because you could tell the ones that I asked them about that. And they was like, well, let us see if she can get up the stairs. She, my mum could get up the stairs. She'd be sitting at the back of the cinema, at the back row, because mum doesn't like sitting at the front of the cinema because it hurts your neck. And she can't get up the steps, can she? Yeah. She, get, she gets out of her wheelchair to sit in a seat if it's right next to me, but she struggles to get like at the back. So what did I expect to do? She said, oh, we, she could try. Oh, yeah, what I do is I try and lift mum's with, with my magic powers up the stairs, the lift, uh, with the the wheelchair. So now we've got a figure, we've had to rebook Ant-Man. There's no lifts working. I said to him, how long is it going to get fixed? I said, oh, we don't know. But is that discrimination? You expect someone in a wheelchair to sit right at the front, but you can book them out. You couldn't even put a note on the website or anything or message people that they tried to book the seats to say it's not working. What do you, what's your opinion on it, Lisa? I don't know. I just feel silly what a stupid and lazy. Do you think they should be keeping that disabled spot open if the other yes. seats are working? Do you think they should they should put a note on it or just take it off in general? Let's put a note on there. Yeah. Uh, Lisa's got another rant to say. But well, not a rant. She wants to, she wants to clarify a few things. And, and set the record straight. Because we've had a few people talk to us either on our YouTube videos or Instagram or whatever it may be. She'll put a few print screens on the video yes. somewhere. And we've had a few people calling Michelle my mate. Or Lisa, because yeah. we don't know who the... Firstly, if Lisa's on a video on her own, we know who they're talking to. But when they say mate, it's with both of us in yeah. the video. So I don't know who they're talking to. And well, I'm going to try not to laugh when I say this. Okay, Michelle. Okay. Now tell them what they said. They said mate. So the conversation is um, good video uh, with your mate. But we don't know who they're talking to. Like, be funny when I say this and that, if anyone watches. I don't mind you call us, or when they call us bro, and not a male, for a start. I was like, I'm not your bro. No, they were saying that me and you were mates in the video. Oh, no. That's what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, and then they said, when, they said oh, um, good good video with your mate. Yeah. But you, Go on, we, we, we've, we've stated in the video when you do the intro, and that they got the name. If you're going to say mate or your friend, at least say who you talk, please say who you talk to. On the intro, Lisa has put our names on there. If you don't know who we are, I'm Michelle, this is Lisa. And we've had someone else on the video saying, it's nice to get your mum involved with your hobby. But, for a start, and uh, how can I put it like this? You can clearly tell if the people are watching the videos or not. I don't mind if you just want to watch and skip through to the end. And then another thing was, on the Hills of Eyes unboxing I did, someone commented, because obviously it was just me in the video, someone was like, is she single because she's fit, blah, blah, blah. Or no, turns me on. Yeah, look, I know I'm sexy. You don't need to tell me this, okay? We might but, not put the print screens on everything, but if you go back on the videos, look on the videos. And I am not single. I've been married to Michelle for uh, six years now, this year. So she's not my mate, she's not my sister, she's not my mum, she's not my nan. Or She's my wife. Oh, I posted something on my Facebook and uh, um, on a Blue Ray group, and they said, "Oh, you, um, your mate's in your video after." She's not my mate. She's my wife. Understand? It's not. A, it's not a rant. We're not moaning at any viewers, but if this part, these people who watch them said they've been watching for a while, but you can sort of tell because we mentioned our wedding anniversary. I'm not going to marry. Yes, my best friend, but not that's not the same thing. So that's our rents. We just wanted to sit the record. We probably won't straight. put no print screens up of certain things. We'll put the cinema one up. I don't think we're gonna name the people who said thingy, but if you go back on the videos of Hills of Voice and I probably will, but we'll see. Yeah. The power of editing. <laughs> so So not having a go at them we're just setting the social I've already commented back to them. Yeah. Just setting the record straight. So that brings us to the end of the weekly vlog. Oh, she hasn't done her live stream. Yeah, because she wasn't well yesterday. But are you going to be live streaming a game with me? I don't know. Probably. Probably not. Probably. Probably not. Who knows? We ain't got to figure out to do this week, have we? 
Yeah, that's why it brings us to the end of the week. Yeah, next vlog. week's vlog you'll probably see so you come on mother's birthday. Yep, so we hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, con comment and share. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Don't forget to uh, join us on all our social media accounts. All the links are down below. Yeah, just to say, if you're unsure on anything, just comment below. Message us on Instagram if you want. We have no problems with it. Or on the Facebook group. If you're part of the Facebook group, you know who we are because our names will come up on there. No holds you message us. We don't have any offence of any. Just saying, no offence of anyone. But, just, and we're sick of people with, with like, the homophobic stuff on there. There's been a few homophobic comments. Which I've already removed them because if you're gonna come a home with the comments, don't bother watching. To be honest, it goes in one ear and out. Yeah. Other. Just saying if you don't want to it's nothing that we haven't heard before. Yeah, we've heard worse in the street. Yeah, trust me we have. Yeah, but I will be removing you and I will block you straight away so we don't stand no shit. No, we don't. We stick up for ourselves. So stay safe. And, and keep hunting. <laughs>